Hey guys, today we're going to answer the question, how do I solve two-step equations and inequalities? So let's start with equations. That is when we have an equal sign. So to solve two-step equations, you are going to isolate the variable by undoing the operations that are happening to the variable in reverse order. This can usually, usually be accomplished with these steps. So the first thing you want to do is undo the addition or subtraction with inverse operations to zero out the constant. That is the number by itself. So you're going to try to get rid of the number by itself first. And then you're going to undo the multiplication or division with inverse operations to eliminate the coefficient, which is the number in front of the variable. We can verify our solution by substituting our answer back in. And to graph the solution set, we will plot a point um, of the solution on the number line. So let's look at this first one. It says solve and graph the equation below, verify your solution. So I am trying to get X by itself. So the first thing I want to do is undo this plus 12. So I am going to subtract 12 from both sides of the equation. And I get negative 3X, I bring that down, 12 minus 12 is zero, equals three minus 12 is negative nine. And then I'm gonna divide by negative three to undo that X being times by negative three. And then I get X equals negative nine divided by negative three is positive three. Okay, now I'm going to verify my solution by substituting in that three I just got for X. And it should equal three when I substitute it in. So negative three times three plus 12, I wanna make sure it equals three. Negative three times three is negative nine. Negative nine plus 12 is three. So we did this correctly. Okay, now I'm ready to plot. I'm going to put three in the middle of my number line. Two is below that, four is above it, and I'm just gonna put a solid point on three. Okay, let's look at this next one, solve and graph it, and then we'll verify our solution. So I'm trying to get the X by itself. This positive two right here is the constant that I'm going to remove, and I want to make a zero with it. And the way I make a zero with a positive two is by subtracting two. 2 minus 2 is 0, I bring down the negative 10x, and that equals 0. And then I divide by negative 10, and 0 divided by negative 10 is 0. So x equals 0, I'm going to verify that by substituting it back into my equation. So I'm going to do 2 minus 10 times 0, and make sure it equals 2. Well, negative 10 times 0 is 0. So I get two minus zero equals two, which is true. So our solution is correct. And now I'm going to plot this on the number line. That would be zero in the middle with negative one right below it and one above it. And I'll just have a point at zero. Okay, next one I have five equals two thirds X minus seven. I'm going to remove this minus seven from the X by making a zero with it. So I'm going to add seven to both sides. And I get 12 equals two thirds X. Okay, now what I really want to do here is remove this const or this coefficient of X and it's a fraction. So I'm going to want to divide by two thirds, but remember dividing by a fraction is the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal. So I'm gonna multiply both sides by the reciprocal of three halves. Because two thirds times three halves would be one, so that simplifies out, and now we're just left with x. And then 12 times three is 36 and 36 divided by two is 18. So I get that X equals 18. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that this is true by substituting in to the equation. So I should get five equals two thirds times 18 minus seven. So two thirds times 18, two times 18, is 36 and 36 divided by three is 12. So this ends up being five equals 12 minus seven, which is true because I get five equals five. So we did this correctly. So now I'm gonna plot this on the number line 
18 goes in the middle since that's my solution, 17 is right below it, and 19 is right above it. Okay, now let's talk about solving inequalities. So two-step inequalities can be solved using the same steps as solving two-step equations. The only difference is we must flip the inequality sign if we multiply or divide by a negative number. And then graphing inequalities is a little bit different. To graph a solution set to an inequality, we first are gonna put an open circle on the inequality if the sign is less than or greater than, or a closed circle if the inequality sign is less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, because the solution would actually be included in that case, so that's why we'd want a closed circle. Then we will shade towards the direction on the number line that makes the inequality true. So let's practice with these solution sets right here. So x is greater than two, that means I'm going to have an open circle because two is not included, and then it would be three that would make this inequality true because three is greater than two. So I'm going to shade towards that direction. Okay, then x is less than two. I put an open circle on two because two would not be included. And I'm gonna shade towards the one because one is less than two. That is what would make the inequality true. Okay, next one, x is greater than or equal to two. That would be a closed circle on two since two is included and it's greater than or equal to, so that would be three that makes this inequality true. So I'm gonna to shade towards the three. And then x is less than or equal to two. Since I have that equal sign, it'll be a closed circle on two and I'm going to shade towards the left because one is what would make this inequality true since it's less than or equal to two. Okay, now let's practice solving and graphing. My first inequality is three X plus three is greater than negative 21. So I'm going to first subtract three, remove that constant, and I get three X is greater than negative 24 negative 21 minus three is negative 24. Then I'm gonna divide by three, and since I'm dividing by a positive, even though there's a negative here, since I'm dividing by a positive, my sign is going to stay the same. So my solution will end up being x is greater than negative eight. So negative eight will go in the middle of my number line, negative nine is right below that, and negative seven is right above it. I'll have an open circle on negative eight since it's just greater than, and negative seven is greater than negative eight. So I'm gonna to shade towards the negative seven. Okay, let's look at the next one. Negative two X minus six is greater than or equal to negative 14. So I'm gonna remove that constant first. So I'm gonna add six and I get negative two X is greater than or equal to negative eight. And I'm gonna divide by a negative two. And since I'm dividing by a negative, I'm going to flip the inequality sign. And I get X is less than or equal to, since I flipped the sign, and negative eight divided by negative two is four. So now I need to graph X is less than or equal to four. Four will go in the middle, three is right below it, and five is right above it. We're gonna put a solid circle on four since it's less than or equal to, and we're gonna to shade towards the three because it's three that is less than or equal to four. All right, last one, 2.4X minus 1.3 is less than 1.1. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove this minus 1.3 by adding 1.3 to both sides. And I get 2.4x is less than 2.4. And now I'm going to divide both sides by 2.4 and we get x is less than one. So I'm gonna put one in the middle of my number line, zero is right below that and two is right above it. It'll be an open circle on one since it's just less than and zero is less than one. That is what would make this inequality true. 